Welcome to Sniper Research Module. If you're new to Sniper, when you come to research, you will notice two yellow boxes which tell you that you haven't yet created a project and basically an indicator of what a project is. A good project name is really your seed keyword. So if you've been following the education, in module two we discussed um, what your kind of broad, a broad niche is and what your seed keyword is and what a micro niche is. So at this point we're at the very top level. So I'm going to use as, um, as my seed keyword, wallet, purely because um, I needed to buy one recently and um, so it's, it's a keyword that's in my mind. So I'm going to create my project first of all. And here we see and um, we come straight in um, based on our initial C keyword or our idea and we see lots of other additional ideas based around that so here we're kind of breaking down into um, trying to find a short list um, that we can use to find niches so what else it looks popular so the bigger the the, the writing um, the, 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 the keyword there the bigger the keyword is and um, the more relevant it is so there's more websites out there talking about that and so therefore potential traffic so here we can see credit card wallet for example leather wallet jumps out there um, trifold wallet now we can see trifold wallet and also trifold wallets plural so sometimes it's still useful to look at plurals and uh, we can sometimes see different traffic patterns um, so we'll do the same with leather wallet and leather wallets uh, let's see what else do we see our uh, Prada wallets oh left click and also Gucci wallets. And we see here um, men's wallets is um, also reasonably prominent, so we'll choose those. So from our one keyword there, I mean, we could look through this and, and come back and try some more of these. So for example, we could go, let's look for some ideas around trifold wallets and see uh, if we can find any other sort of keywords that we, we didn't find the first time. Um, I, I think we've pretty much seen the same sort of thing as wallets, trifold wallets, tri space fold wallets, etc. Um, <clears throat> so I think we've got a, enough keywords to start with in our shortlist so now we can just jump over to the niche area and we can start searching the niches from our shortlist and you know, this is where we start to get some really interesting data um, because based on the on the sniper strategy of um, building a niche site that um, attracts you know, a, a minimum amount of traffic that makes it profitable but not too much traffic that there's too much competition so it makes it difficult to get on the first page of Google using all those parameters that we've talked about so far in the education in uh, modules 2 etc and um, we divide um, we've come up with this star rating so obviously a five star is, is awesome um, and a, a one star is poor so, and obviously in between so anything that's a five star is you know is, is fantastic potential straight away so you know, whilst well, we can see here, we've got um, the, the, the data in terms of last month searches. So how many people search for that keyword last month? And then we have average searches. So over the last 12 months, what's been the monthly search? So last month was actually down on the average for the year, but still over 2000 is, is enough that we could make at least a dollar a day by getting on the front page of Google, you know, which fits within the strategy. And here we see SERPs, so that's search engine results pages. So when we search for this keyword in the search engines, how many pages are we seeing returned? So our competition, which then finally gives us our keyword effective index. So this is how effective that keyword is in the index in terms of from a competition perspective. So 0.187 is, is actually very good. Anything um, above 0 0.02 is actually um, a good score. So that's why we can see this is a five star rating. So, but I don't need to really understand this data obviously as you get more into this um, you, you can delve into this and make more um, informed decisions when you when you have a, a grasp of this but the star rating is there to ensure that you know a, a five or a four you know is is um, a good bet in terms of certainly looking further um, into the um, into the insight data so we can see here the whole list is obviously ordered by stars so you know not interested in anything down here you know whilst wallet is obviously got a huge amount of search there's you know the amount there's like three million pages out there, so the chance of you, um, chance of you ranking for the, just the keyword wallet, you know, with um, against a competition of three um, three point two million pages, which makes that a one star, as opposed to here we've only got nineteen thousand pages to beat um, against that keyword. Now that may still sound a lot, but based on the sniper strategy of everything being exact from the domain to the keyword to the targeting of the content of the site, you know, you'll, you'll jump straight ahead of, of, of pretty much all of those. 
So we say that's going to be a certainly good one, all these five stars. So just clicking on the keyword just adds it here to our shortlist. Once I've added all the keywords from, for my initial niche search to my shortlist, I can then go through the other ideas added to my shortlist to look if I, I can find any other additional um, keywords. So obviously here, I'm seeing no, uh, no star ratings at all. So uh, certainly that's not a, a good niche to continue down in, in terms of check wallet. So let's have a look at credit card wallet. And here we can see a, a four star credit card wallet. Um, so they're the same. So let's just, let's add that one there because that could be useful. And let's go down. Now, um, this is an interesting one, Gucci wallets. I added this one specifically um, to highlight the issue. The reason, what we have here is we're not seeing any results at all. Um, now the reason for that is a lot of this data comes from Google and they don't provide um, data on brand keywords. So even though there may be a lot of traffic for the keyword Gucci wallets and there may be domains available, you know, we may be able to get that traffic, it's gonna be very difficult to monetize it as well because our, two our main two monetization partners um, in the form of Google and Amazon, neither of them um, look favorably on this strategy using brand names. See, So for that reason, where we see brand names, uh, it's very unlikely that we will see data. Now, Google don't have, have all brand names blocked, um, which is why I selected that there. So on some occasions, some of the, the, uh, the smaller brands, but still widely known, um, aren't blocked. And so it is worthwhile if you see a brand um, that is, you know, is really prominent in the ideas, or you know, you think of one to try it anyway, and you know, and see if um, see if that one does slip through the radar, and I think you may be okay. So obviously not in this case. So let's carry on with our search, looking through our ideas from our shortlist. Um, certainly no five stars there. I think if it maybe I was desperate, I would look into a three star. But um, being as I've already have a reasonable list of of fives, we'll, we'll carry on. Now this is interesting, leather wallet produced a maximum of three star, but leather wallets pluralized, we can see that we've got a four star there. So, you know, it's an interesting that um, note, it's an interesting point to note, should I say, that um, the pluralization of keywords, you know, it's, it's, it's worthwhile looking into both. Don't think that um, the search engine is smart enough to, um, to work that out. So obviously in this case, it's, that's not the case. Um, certainly no more five stars there. And no. Uh, and here we go, another brand. Yep, and then we see no data returned. So obviously Prada and Gucci, two bigger brands to uh, to be susceptible to filtering. Ah, wow, another five star trifold trifold wallet. Awesome. And uh, let's add that four star as well. Okay, so now we just tick the the niche keywords that we've added. So we can see the difference in our shortlist when we've added ideas there's no tick box. So we're just using the idea keywords to generate niche keywords, our niche keywords. And all niche keywords, we have the tick box. So we can select those, and which will enable us to then generate our insight reports.